Netflix, no! You know, this scene could be better if you guys switch places. Everyone's a critic. <sighs> okay, so I'm Gabby. I'm Ashley. And this week for Netflix No, we watched the movie Rubber. And we're gonna take two different sides of people that like to watch this movie, even yeah. though we both might kind of feel the same, but this is what I generally get when I hear about people talking about it. Yeah. So I'm gonna be the person that pretty much is just like, this is stupid, the entire time. And you? I kind of enjoy the meta-theatricality meta of the movie, it so I'm nice. going to play, I guess, a little bit of devil's advocate there. Okay. Well, yeah, no, so this movie was dumb. The cinematography was pretty, and the sound was nice, and the special effects and the acting weren't awful. But overall, the plot was dumb. I didn't care about any of the characters. It was hitting me way too hard, like over the head with all of its, oh God, this is a metaphor. And I just wanted it to end. You see, you put the killing thing in front of your face, but you don't actually allow it to do the killing. John Green. No, stop. Anywho. <laughs> But really, the movie starts off by saying all these things about Hollywood movies and about how, why does all of this happen? No reason. This movie is definitely a spin-off of that, and it makes it very clear. We see the audience of the film in the film. They're like standing off behind these red velvet ropes with binoculars watching what's happening. And it definitely, by presenting it that way, I think it made the film a lot more enjoyable. It's like, yes, we're aware this is a bad movie. We're aware that none of it makes sense, but because it, you know from the beginning that it's not going to make sense and nothing's happening for a reason, I thought it was better. It's a cop-out. <laughs> that, no, that's literally it. It was like, you know what? I can't actually think or write a decent story, so I'm just gonna pretend like all these pretty decent movies are bad because of this one thing. Like, why is E.T. Brown? Why? That doesn't make any sense. The whole movie doesn't make sense anymore. But no, that's a color of an alien. It has literally nothing to do with the rest of the plot. Well, this is a tire that kills people with its brain, which I'm going to imagine is somewhere within the tire? No, it was dumb in a cop-out. What I thought was cool, though, was that they did try to give the tire something of a personality. Like, I kind of felt for the tire's struggle at the beginning. Like, he got up, and then he tried to move, and they fell, and he continued. It was like the little engine that could. It he tried, long, and then he crushed stuff, and then he made a rabbit explode. It was great. Well, he made the bottle explode first. He made the bottle explode first, but that wasn't nearly as dramatic. I don't know. Because he He's figured out he figured out he couldn't roll over the bottle, so he had to find a different way to deal with it. It's a metaphor for life, guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> no, it was just. Ugh. The movie. Okay, so the whole punch you in the face with a metaphor thing is not really my style, and. It's basically saying the entire time, audiences are dumb, so we have to give them what they ask for and or give them something like dumb like that or hit them over the head with something smart because else they won't get it. And it really pissed me off because that's not true. I don't really think so. I feel like you were hitting me over the head with all of your metaphors and you needed to stop. The movie could have been 15 minutes long and I might have actually enjoyed it. However, the audience that they portray in the movie does show lots of different real characteristics of people in an audience. Like there are people talking and these other girls are like, you know, can you guys stop talking, stop discussing the movie? We're trying to see what's happening. We're trying to watch it. And then there's the people cracking jokes. And then there's the one guy who's really into it, doesn't say anything, and is just absorbing everything that's happening. So for that part, I thought that was a very accurate portrayal of real life people. Now, I will say a lot of things in the movie just don't make sense. And I mean, obviously, the movie started off by saying that. But they kill the audience. Very quickly. So, they like, these nice them. characters you start to kind of care about, they're all dead. So, like... And I'm not really sure why. Uh, okay, so if I'm going to go for the metaphor thing here, it's like instant gratification. And the audience needs what they want right away, and they're not thinking about what they're taking in. And this is the media they're consuming, and they're not thinking about it. Therefore, they're poisoned by the media that they consume. And they were literally poisoned in the but I don't care because it was dumb. <laughs> so no. <laughs> yeah, I didn't understand that whole part. Of, they're like, oh yeah, six hours later, the audience is dead, great, we can all go home now. And then they're just like, no, no, that one guy's still alive. He didn't eat the turkey. Continue the movie. And there I can see it being a little bit of a play on movies that drag out into trilogies and things like that yeah. that aren't 
necessarily meant to you be You still true have audience. a viewer out there, therefore you gotta use that audience. Right. But and I don't know I that, that I... And I think that's a good thing for them to acknowledge, because I do think lots of things kind of overstay their welcome in the film And industry, in case you didn't get the metaphor, the last shot you see or all of the tires, other than the original Robert, who you never actually hear the name, but it's on everything written, so I don't yeah. know. Um, led by a the, tricycle. Led by a tricycle, all of the tires rolling toward Hollywood. Yeah. Now, what does the tricycle say about childhood, Gabby? Tell me. The tricycle says that through the innocence of childhood, we can experience all this wonderful cinematography, and then, as we grow older and turn into these old, used and abused tires, that we are just destroyed by the film industry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so our rating for this, what would you give it? I would give it like, I, I'm gonna give it four. It was not five because the shots are really well done. It clearly had a really great budget. The acting was good for what they were given and what the style of movie was. They had great scenery. It was all very cohesive, but it was just, it's weird. Like, yeah. it's a tire that kills people, and not just by running them over, by blowing them up with its mind. So, I will also give it four O's. That's it. I don't care anymore. One last time. Netflix! No! Stop. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>